In this lecture, we are going to build a Hello World EJS project. Before we jump into this video, go to the first link in the description because we're running a Kickstarter, Excel, Python, and blockchain in 99 days. Don't miss out. So a simple first project for someone who's never built an EJS project before. So we're going to get started at REPL.IT. You can also just use your computer's terminal or command line and a code editor or go to REPL.com. And I'm going to create a new REPL using Node. I'll call this Hello World EJS. Then I'm going to hit Create REPL to start my project. I'm using REPL because it allows me to really easily add code and also use my shell. Okay, so let's get started here. Join me in the REPL shell, not the console. If you want, you can also just use your computer's terminal if you don't want to use REPL. We're going to get started first by creating a new project folder with mkdir make directory. We'll call the folder hello EJS. Then we can list out all of the contents of our project here on REPL and we see we've created Hello EJS. Let's enter Hello EJS with CD. Then I'm going to set up our NPM project with NPM init dash Y. This will create a new NPM project. It will create here the package.json file for the metadata. Next, we're going to install Express with npm install Express. And here in the shell, npm is pre-installed, but if you're using your own terminal, make sure you install npm. Okay, so we need Express to help us with making the server. And next, we have to install EJS. So we have to install it via npm for templating. Next up, we're going to create our server file. So we are going to make sure we're inside of Hello EJS. Then we're going to use touch to create server.js. We can list out the contents and we'll see that we have the file. Now, if you're on a Windows DOS terminal, then use copy con server.js instead. Okay, so now we're going to open up this file. So go to files and open up server.js. Now, if you are using your own computer instead of REPL, if you're using your own terminal and a code editor, then just open this file in a code editor because we're going to put in some content here to create our server. First, we're going to require Express, so we're defining Express here. We're going to be using Express for the server and we'll create a new Express app. Then we'll use app.set and we're going to set the view engine property to EJS. This means that our application will now expect to use EJS templating. Okay, and afterward, we're going to get one of our pages. So let's start with the home page. We'll use app.get to get the home page. Then we'll include here a callback function to take in a request and return a response. The request being to visit the home page. So a user is requesting to visit the home page and we're going to send them a response. The response will be that we're going to render for them a page. We're going to display a page. That page will be under pages slash home. Let's end all of our statements here with semicolons. And one more thing we need to do is to launch the server. So we're going to use app.listen. We're going to listen on port 8080, a common port. Okay, next up, we are going to create the home page. So let's go back up to our shell here or back to your terminal, right? And here we can list out our contents. We have server.js. Okay, EJS expects a views folder to hold all of your pages and partials. A page is also called an EJS view and a partial is a reusable page section built with EJS. So EJS expects us to have a views folder. So let's use mkdir to create a views folder. Then let's enter views. There's nothing in it currently, but we're going to make a subfolder to store our pages with mkdir pages. Then let's enter into pages. We can also see where we are with pwd. So that is the location of where we are. We should be in the pages subfolder. Okay, we're already there. Next, let's create our EJS file for the home page. So we'll use touch home.ejs. So careful here, it's not JS, it's EJS. 
And then let's open up this EJS file. So the file will be under files, project, views, pages, home.ejs. Here we're going to set up our home page of the site. So first we'll use some HTML and then we'll use some EJS tags. So we'll specify the document type. We'll open up our HTML tag to store all of our HTML. We'll create the typical tags like the head tags. Then we'll have a body. And let's close those off as well. Close off the HTML tag too. Then here in our body, we can just have a simple tag. We'll have a header tag. And let's close that off. And then inside of the header, here is where we're going to use EJS. We are going to use an EJS partial, which is a reusable page section. So to reference a partial, first you open up an EJS tag. That is the alligator bracket followed by the percentage sign. Now, there are different formats for what you put after that. For example, if you're just using JavaScript, then you're going to leave the tag like that. And there is also a closing portion to it to match. If you're trying to render raw HTML, you include a dash. If you're grabbing data from a server, you use an equal sign. All right, so we're using a dash because in this case, we're going to be using EJS to render HTML that's reusable. Here, we're then going to call include, and we're going to reference a partials folder. So this will be two parents up, and then slash partials slash header. So we will actually create a header EJS file. And this is going to store a reusable piece of HTML that will be for the header. Note here that this EJS, EJS is built on JavaScript, so we're using JavaScript here inside of the EJS tag, and we even include a semicolon to end the line, just like we would in JavaScript. All right, so there we've set up our home page in EJS. So because we used EJS as our file extension, we can include EJS in this file. Okay, so next we have to actually create this partial. So we're going to go two parents up from the home a file, and then we're going to create our partial. So let's go back into our shell or our terminal. And here we can then go one parent up and then another parent up. Actually, just one parent up. We should be here in views. OK, great. So yes, we'll be here under views. It's two parents up relative to the home file because the home file's parent is the pages and then its next parent is views. But in the terminal here, it's just one parent up because we're already in pages. So just make sure you're inside of the views folder. Then here we're going to create a new folder for our partials with make directory partials. And then inside of partials, Let's go in there with CD partials. And here I'm going to create our first partial with touch header.ejs. And there we have it. Next up, let's open up that header file. So I'm going to go under files, then I'm going to go into partials and then header.ejs. So here we are. And let's put some content into here. And it doesn't have to be very much, it just has to be some kind of HTML you want to reuse, such as a heading 2. And we can say this is a reusable header partial. Awesome. Okay, so now we have that file. Make sure to save it here in REPL. It's auto-saving. Now we're going to run our server and we'll be able to see our partial being put to use on our home page, all thanks to EJS. So make sure you go up to your project folder. So we'll go one parent up then another parent up because we have to go to the folder where we have our server file. Then we'll call node server.js to run the server. Now in REPL, node is pre-installed, but if you're on your own terminal, you have to make sure you have node installed. And look at this. Now we see this is a reusable header partial on our home page. So that tells me that we were able to successfully run our server and then the server was able to listen for a request to go to the home page. So when I requested to go to the home page, it showed me my home page, and my home page included a partial that I built with EJS. So that is a Hello World project here in EJS. Don't forget to check out our Kickstarter first line in the description where you can learn a lot more programming.